welcome to Blendong. My name is Andrew Shield, and if you're anything like me and can't stand weight painting, so I do most of my weight paints in edit mode. I don't think it be, might not be good if you had a very complex model, but if it's a basic weight painting, you can get away with that in weight painting in edit mode. So let's go on a bit and see what we can do. Shift select the model, then I'll shift, shift select the armature, press control P with automatic weights. The armature must always be at the top, and I like to put preserve volume on because it. Um, it moves better, it works better, it deforms better. So let's go into, oh, no, sorry. Select the model, tab into edit mode. Now the first thing to do is if you come up to this tab, this overlay tab, and come down to the bottom, it has something saying vertex group weights. You select that. And I would suggest if you're going to use this function a lot, you can right click and add it to quick favorites so i just need to press q and turn it on or off okay so now our weights are here let's stretch this out there's no master let's see spine one select the mesh and let me change the bones so we can see where they actually start and finish select the bones to octahedral and go back to edit mode okay so here's spine one and it comes all the way up to here it doesn't really need this one so this works best when you have x-ray and wireframe on so deselect all of this and then remove that one now we do spine two select it and here's spine two bone so we select the part that we want to cover for that bone let's say all of that oops deselect press control and left click to deselect what you don't want and remove that now we do spine three select one two three so let me deselect what i want to keep um, and remove that let me see how much i have there select yeah that's good and then we go to spine four Select. Do I need all of that? No, I don't. So press Control and left click and deselect all of that and remove that. And that was simple so far. Um, let me organize this by name. Left click, sort by name. So now we've got shoulder dot L select it and i don't need the vertices this is too wide so let me press control left click and deselect the ones that i want to have then remove these now if i want the shoulder dot r to be exactly the same i can just deselect what i don't want but i'm going to show you how i mirror things so select this let me select this and do control C so I can copy the name and now I can delete that so select this shoulder dot L click on here and do where is it copy vertex group and then you come to this one and you do mirror vertex group topology that didn't work good do mirror vertex group 
No, I know I did wrong. When you come to mirror the vertex group, you're supposed to do control I first. And now you mirror the vertex group. And when you select it, you have both sides. You deselect the part that you want. And you remove. And now select this and control B to paste the name that I copied. Sort by name. And now shoulder.rl and shoulder.r are the same. So let's go for um, upper arm.l. Let's select that. See what we need from it. Select it. Press control and deselect what I want from it. I think I'll keep some of this as well. And then remove no. And then remove the rest. And select it. That looks okay. Now if I want it to be on the other side, first of all let me copy this name. Control C and I can delete that. So I'll make sure the upper arm is selected. Click here, do copy vertex group, select this one, then control I, or if you want to do control I, you can press A and come here to invert selection if you have the pie menu activated. And then you do mirror vertex group. Select everything, press C and deselect this side and remove it and control V, upper arm dot R. So now it is an exact copy. So let's do another arm, forearm dot L. Select it. This one doesn't really need anything. But I think I just want to do it just to go through the process. So let me do that. Um, assign again. And then this one here, this last one, what we can do is just come and give it point 0.2, assign point 0.2. You can assign whatever you want to it. So select, copy this name. Control C and delete it. So you select it, you copy the vertex group, then you do Control I and then you mirror the vertex group and then you select it, you deselect the part you want and do remove. So now that, and then put the name there. And now we've done weight painting in edit mode. So let me go and check my mesh to see how it's deforming, to see if I need to make any tweaks. Put it back on stick mode so I can see. Into pose mode, R. That's not bad. It's got a little bit more work to do. Let me check my spines, Rx, not bad, Rx, Rx, that's all, but I think, let me check this one, Rx, Rz, might be a bit too much on the forearm. But the main issue I can see is with the um, there's too much on the shoulders. So we go back and fix that again. Tab into edit mode. Shoulder dot L. So let's and go back into wireframe and X-ray mode. 
and I think these ones are the culprits here so let's get rid of these oops yeah select these here and do remove and then the ones down here you can assign them maybe point two and see how that works the only downside about this is that you have to keep switching to pose mode but I'm used to it RX now that's I've just gonna made it worse control Z RX Oh, that's actually not too bad, is it? All right, give it one more try. Into tab, into edit mode, and then shoulder select. So these ones, I don't want them to have such a strong effect. Let me just and just give them 0.2. Let's see if that works. Weight painting is a trial and error. R X. Now it seems the more that I put on it, the worse it gets. So I'm just going to control Z that and then come underneath the arm part, select, and maybe just remove these ones. Remove. And I think that should fix that issue with that under the arm. RX. It doesn't move so much. One more thing I want to do, because I'm not happy with all this. Um, put it back into edge. And select all of this up here. Assign it, let's say 0.3. Let's see if it works any better. It's just trial and error when you're painting and stuff like this. RX. Yeah, it moves a bit better. It's not perfect. Try some more down here. Select all of it. deselect all of this and remove that and then I'm gonna copy it again control control C and delete the right arm select the shoulder select it copy it control I mirror the vertex group Deselect the half that you don't want. The half that deselect the half that you want. And do remove. And give it the name Control V. And sort by name. So they should be identical. Yeah. And that's it. I mean, there is some more tweaking to be done. But I just wanted to give you the idea of how you can weight paint, for those of you who don't like weight painting, in edit mode. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to ask.